In this business simulation, you have been transported back in time to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create best selling games, gain fans, and become the leader of the market. And that is exactly what we are gonna do. But first of all, we're gonna need a character. Our company name is, of course, gonna be Despair Academy. My name is The Ultimate D. Here. I am a guy, quite a pale guy, I might say, uh, but still this guy looks most like me, uh, this guy, and uh, can we get some, some, yes, the nice 80s look, okay, very easy achievement, I bought the game and thus I have uh, achieved the achievement. Let's start by making our very own game. This game is not blind, I am uh, a little bit familiar with it. Even though this is my uh, first time playing. So, very first game. Let's pick a topic first. Let's do... sure, let's do zombies. A zombie action game. On the... G64. And let's call this uh, the very first, the very first game about zombies. Let's see, can I make it a, a 2D graphics game? Yo, hey, Maran, um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Mara Tonapa, hey, good to see you. Thank you for your uh, follow a month ago. Uh, let me quickly repeat that for you. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. Good to see you. Welcome to the Spare Academy. We've started a uh, new playthrough. Quite a chill playthrough. Developing our very first game. Um, I do believe story and quests are not very important, but gameplay and uh, the engine is. Let's start cranking those, those keypads. What can I say about this game? It's just, it's very chill, very relaxing. I'm gonna have a very good time. Um, dialogues, no, but I think uh, level design, artificial intelligence. Yes, that's a good split. I believe it's actually quite an old game. I believe it's uh, over 10 years old now. Um. Oh yeah, I was kind of uh, checking to see if uh, the <coughs> what's going on with me. I just can't talk today. Oh, it's been a little while, little while since I've uh, streamed. But yeah, I was uh, thinking about having the chat in a different color, but no, it's uh, the dark is a nice contrast. Uh, honestly, I think it, an even split is good for a zombie game. Okay, could release it right now, but we are going to wait a little bit longer so that the, the uh, bugs get patched. And now we finish. It is not Swedish, uh, but close. I am from Germany. Okay, release the game. Good judgment. Good topic and genre combination. Nice. First reviews came in. Let's see. Our very first game. Uh, it's, it's mediocre. I, mediocre, I guess. Mediocre to, to bad. Is there a way to skip this? Yeah, right click. I think. Eh, overall, mediocre score. Okay, now we can generate a, a game report on the very fist game about zombies. 
There's all tutorial and stuff, but I'm uh, a little familiar with the game, as I have... Oh, Charleston number 90. Ooh, at the dawn of video games. It's not bad. I got 14 fans. Okay, game report is done. Uh, zombies action is a great combination. The engine seems to be very, very important. All right. The German is a bit rusty. Uh, no worries. Uh, as smart people say, life is too short to learn German. So <laughs> if you don't have to, don't do it. Um, we could start off with a little research since we've got twenty-two research points now. A uh, new topic. How about we do a racing game? Yes, racing is nice. Okay, over 10k units sold for our very first game. That is not bad, actually. Not bad in the slightest. So this is your very first exposure to the game. Um, let me tell you, the game is awesome, even though uh, the, the vanilla version that I'm playing right now uh, does have its flaws. Yeah, it's, it's, it's alright. It's part of the, the enjoyment. Uh, even though my, my YouTube has kind of blown up over the last couple of weeks, blow up if I've got tripled my uh, subscriber count. Uh, so maybe I want to focus a little bit more on YouTube and um, actually record games uh, when I'm not streaming, which I have done the last couple of days. It was a lot of fun. Step up a new game. Um, let's do a racing game, a racing simulation for the PC this time. Hmm. Which mind do we have? 90k. I think we can afford to do another G64 game. Uh, let's call it... Marathon Upper Racing. Because why not? Because why the F not? Uh, 2D graphics? Yes, start development. Also because there's a um, there's not a lot of things happening in the uh, bottom right corner of the game. So um, having a little bit of text there is not uh, too bad. Uh, yes, gameplay on the focus, maybe a little bit more engine. I'm not a pro in this game and uh, by any means. I just want to have a little bit of a chill gameplay. Uh, I believe artificial intelligence for the other races, but level design, all the tracks and all. Yeah. I'm gonna keep it the same. Uh, the Commodore 64 is outside the PC, okay. But as we all know from history, that'll uh, change in the next couple of years. Uh, yeah, I think it even split. It's a good idea. Oh, you watch my YouTube uh, videos to fall asleep to? That's, that's cool, because that's exactly what I do with other YouTubers. <laughs> Loop Hero is such an insanely chill game. I love it. And yes, most of my subscribers are from YouTube, uh, from Loop Hero. And that's kind of the, the concern that I have, is that now that Loop Hero is finished, um, YouTube is just gonna bury my account on the ground, but whatever. Let's see, reviews for Marathon Upper Racing. Average, average. I really hope they make a sequel to Loop Hero someday. Okay, okay, okay. Not bad. Is there some way to speed this up or... Oops. Okay, let's create a, a game report on that. 6.25, okay. Sales are... Already a lot better than... Um, first game, a uh, Japanese company Ninvento is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Okay, so the NES will hit the shelves soon. Let's see if we can uh, get some NES games up in here. New topic, how about uh, construction? I believe the ratio of uh, one game to one research topic is 
not bad. Oh, Marathon Upper is made from the words Marathon and Upper? Marathon and Monkey? That's, that's funny. Yeah, it works the same way in German. In German, because, you know, German is kind of intimidating because uh, it's got a lot of long words. But all of the long words are just uh, made up of smaller words. Uh, research complete. And game report. Hold on. There you go. Racing simulation is a great combination. Level design seems to be quite important for self game. Good to know. I believe we can research a little bit more. Do have some more research uh, points. Cyberpunk? Of course, of course. So in that case, uh, Marathon Upper Racing is just uh, monkey racing, which is funny. Okay, next year the uh, NES will hit the shelves. And I do want to develop a lot of uh, NES games. Okay, I believe we can research one more game. One more topic, I mean. Virtual Pet. Yes, nice. Uh, we got a little cash in the bank. And maybe I want to wait until next year, until the NES is on the market. Ooh, to Ultimate Despair from De Patrick and Daniel Clue. Greenheart Games. Hi, Ultimate Despair. We are the creators of Game Dev Tycoon. I would like to thank you very much for purchasing the game and supporting us. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's sweet. I mean, it's, it's a cool game. It's one of the old classics. Okay, it's off the market. Sold 14,000 copies. Nice. Um, how about... How about... How about we travel in time a little bit? Travel about 30 years in the future. And we do a cyberpunk RPG on the G64. Um, yes. Cyberpunk RPG. And we shall call that Cyberpunk 2002. And it's going to be a, yes, 2D graphics game. I was going to go for text-based. Because that could also be kind of fun, but uh, we got so much money. That I don't think it's a bad idea to invest some more in that. Now, story quests all the way up. I think the engine can... Uh, the most important thing in an RPG is story and quests. Second to that is gameplay and then it's engine. I think me as a uh, as an RPG fan myself. And then dialogues is very important and level design. And then world design and graphics is important but sound I think not too much. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a banger. More bug. Here we go. Oh, we just released a new game and now the NES drops. Oh, of course. Ah, uh, new record on uh, design, which is awesome. Also leveled up our level design and gameplay. Very nice. Let's see how it does. In the meantime, uh, research. New topic, let's do farming. Get that farm out. Okay, let's see. see. A couple tents there. Ooh, it's gonna be good. Yeah, look at that. Cyberpunk 2002. Nice, nice. Not bad for a third game. Made by a single guy in a garage with the DeLorean. Contracts have not been unlocked. Nice. Oh, you're watching Pokemon now? That's cool. Yeah, I really like the uh, Pokemon Fusion. Especially since uh, some of the more recent Pokemon games have left a rather bitter taste in my mouth. Because they haven't been too good. Oh, Cyberpunk is doing really well. Sweet. A lot of cash. Mm, from what I can tell, contract work isn't uh, the best. It's very risky, and you don't make too much money off of it. Cyberpunk RPG is a great combination. Gameplay seems to be quite important, and the platform genre match. Good. Okay, nice. Good to know. 
Yes, uh, so in the... Right now it's week 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So in 9 weeks we sold 17,000 copies of Cyberpunk. Yes, that is his sold unit count. Which is pretty cool if you ask me. Oh, military, yes. Research another military topic and then uh, once Cyberpunk gets off the market, we don't want to oversaturate the market. Yeah, and then we're going to immediately start uh, working on... Um, a military strategy? Strategy game? On the TES. I mean, yeah, but we're also a very small studio. Uh, acquired a license, that is quite uh, costly, but once we pump up some uh, TES, the NES equivalent, games, because uh, if you know anything about video game history, the TES is gonna blow up. So let's acquire the license for that. Get a 2D graphics game. Oh, no. Don't forget the name. And this is gonna be TES Wars. Yes, TES Wars. Sweet. There's an obvious homage to Advance Wars and uh, Super Famicom Wars. I also had an NES. That was not the first console I ever owned. The first console I ever owned was the SNES. Uh, but my dad used to have an NES and uh, I used to play it a lot. Um, story quest can go all the way down. Gameplay and I think engine is important for uh, military strategy. Oh, Commodore 64 too? Nice. I never have one of those. My family went straight to PC. Dialogues can go all the way down. Uh, level design is not too important, but artificial intelligence should be. My family went straight to PC in the early 2000s. That nice uh, Windows 2000. Okay. Yeah, I think world design and graphics are the most important aspects. Oh, we are losing a lot of cash. Okay, let's hope this next uh, game <laughs> will blow up. That's not looking too good, though. This might flop. A new record on the technology side. Level up a lot of stuff. Okay, let's release it and hope... Uh... <laughs> hope it uh, blows up. Let's find some contract work. Get a little bit more cash in, hopefully. Uh, library software. 2 and 12, I can easily do that, probably. Oh, I can easily do that, yeah. 6 and 9. Not a problem. Oh, it's gonna bomb. No, average? Okay. Yeah, I pretty much had every single any uh, Nintendo console, except for the Virtual Boy. And the Game Boy Micro. Like, any of those obscure ones. Uh, massive success, yes. Sales numbers have uh, increased. So the uh, TES is our console to go. Okay, and that is an easy contract for us. Let's see if we can do another one. 2 and 12 also shouldn't be too difficult, yes. Let's do that. And after that, uh, we'll start working on our new game. Oh, no, create a game report, but after you've uh, completed your contract. There we go, easy money. Generate a game report on uh, TES Wars, yes. And after that, oh, money in the bank, that's what I like. Funnily enough, my uh, first non-Nintendo console was the PlayStation 4. Which I only got because of Red Dead Redemption. That game is freaking baller. Uh, let's do a... Hmm, how about we do... A virtual pet simulation. On the TES. And let's call that... TES Dogs. You know, like Nintendo or not? What's Ninvendogs? Nice. The pet simulation. 
And it costs 40k though. Hmm, so they, they, they better be successful. Uh, yeah. I think engine is the most important aspect. Okay, TS was did bring us a lot of money in. Uh, insights, relevance, yeah, okay. Oh yeah, plus and, plus and minus, that's helpful. Okay, I think level design is just... Level design and artificial intelligence, kind of... Like so? Something about the blobs flying to the top of the stream is just very satisfying. Increase variety of gaming devices, such as mine for more specialized games, um, for the younger audiences, okay. Yes, you can upgrade your garage uh, to a studio. Some... some... time. It's only year 3, so it's like still the early 80s. New research, target audience, nice! Let's do that after uh, Ninvendogs. Uh, well, design is not that important, but graphics and sound are, I think. And then, uh, once you get uh, to a bigger studio, you can also hire employees and all that. Uh, all right, I haven't... Totally forgot about creating my own uh, custom game game engine, which I should probably do. Yes, and that Vena, which is of course Sega. There we go, no bugs. And then Vendorx, let's see how it does. New record on technology side. Also upgraded some uh, aspects. Let's see how it how it does. Uh, generate a game import on Invendox. Let's see. It's gonna be another average one, right? Oh, oh, slightly above average. That's fine. I can I can do with average. Yep, not bad. After all, not bad. Now, if we get fifty research points, I'm gonna start developing my own uh, engine. Nice. Okay, uh, no, not game history. Uh, research. Also, target audience. It's only 30,000, but uh, the game engine will have to be top priority. Yep, and that's the Vena Master System. I am a Nintendo boy at heart. I didn't partake in the Bit Wars. Mainly because, uh, first of all, I was too young, and second of all, uh, we d I don't even think we had Sega in Germany. Okay, game choice and mono sound, nice. Create a custom engine. Oh, it's gonna be... That's n only 90k, okay. Let's call that the um, Engine of Despair Mark 1. Is that a good, good uh, one? Yeah, sure. And now with that, our uh, games should be popping off even more. I love this game. I said it before, so I'll say it again. It's really chill. There we go. Oh, did I delete the, the, the one for the Mark 1? I guess so. Uh, which of our games did the best? I think Cyberpunk. Yes. So how about we do a uh, another one? Develop a new game. Let's do another Cyberpunk game. Uh, this time do... Adventure? And call it... Shadow Jog. Because why not? I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm PC all the way, but Nintendo is a second close. But I really do, do love the PlayStation at the moment. Uh, on the TES. Oh, strategy is uh, not that good on the TES. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, like simulation games. Let's see if adventure games uh, fit well. Yeah, Engine of Despair Mark, nothing. Okay. Let's see, and 2D graphics version 2. Oh, it's gonna be a good one. By the way, obvious reference to Shadowrun, but 
<laughs> not as fast. Yes, linear story and a save game. Uh, story and quests can go up, like so maybe? A little bit of balance. Okay, the Master V by Venor. Sega. <laughs> Fall in, that's a good one. Uh, uh, level design and AI and dialogues needs to be a little bit up. Yeah, if I can research the uh, post-apocalyptic uh, one, I'll definitely do, do that. And then world design. Sound can be a little bit down. Okay, sort of the market, but uh, still NES boy by heart. Okay, patch out those bugs. Sweet, let's see how it does. New record on design. Love seeing that. And also create a game report on that. On Shadow Jog. Okay, uh, the mediocre. Hmm. No, maxing the sliders all the time just means it's an e even distribution between the attributes. So if I max them out all, or if I minimize them all, then uh, it's it's the same. It just means that uh, the the three things are spread equally across uh, the de development process.